Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I got this 2019 Chevy Equinox right behind me. So the issue with the Chevy Equinox, the fans are not working on the vehicle, but this is a salvage title right here. Customer brought it over because he was about to change out the module and he wanted to see if I could fix it up. So how about in today's video, try to see if we can fix up this vehicle and get it back on the road. All right, before we go inside and turn on the vehicle, this is where the area of the wreck is at. So I can show you right here. And if we go inside here, you can actually see that this is, the little splash shield is, is missing right here. And this is where we have our wreck area. So let's go inside the vehicle now, let's turn it on and let's see if we can get the fans to turn on. All right, so let's see if these fans turned on. We have another camera in the front. And here we go. Got the AC on. And yeah, this is really warm air coming out. not cold at all all right let's go check out the front let's see what we get check out the fan right now as you can see the AC is is on but we don't have no movement right here I would not recommend touching that I'm just showing you right here that's not working and one thing that I did notice let's go to the connector I want you to check this out I did show this to the customer we gonna shut the vehicle off right now all right, this is the connector to the fan, and I don't know if y'all can catch that. Let me see if I can zoom in right there. Look at that right here. It's all bubbled up right here. So this is resistance right here, and this got hot, and it is all, look at that. So I wanna make sure first and foremost that we actually have power coming to this so we're gonna get our test light and we're gonna touch this when we turn on the fan and see if we have any power. And then after that, we'll see if we have any ground. I don't know if you can see right next to that. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be our ground bolt to our ground side of this. But we're gonna check our power, see how that looks. And then we'll check out this ground because I don't know if you can see that that's where the actual hit was at right there on the frame. So let's get our little test light and see what we get. All right, so we're gonna test out this wire right here. And as you can see, I have my test light. And let's just touch this. And look at that, we do have power. So that's not gonna be our issue right there, but we are gonna address that. We're gonna fix this up right here because we don't want the customer to be driving like that. And now what I wanna check out is I wanna look at that little ground, uh, this ground right here. And because this is the part that was hit right there, I just want to verify that this is not loose or anything because especially when you work on cars that have been damaged that's one of the things that shops forget to do and let's see this oh my god this sucker is loose let's go to the bottom side we can see if we can look at it a little bit better all right, we're in the bottom side. I don't know how easy it is, but look at this. This is just way too loose. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to tighten this up and see what happens right here. Hopefully it turns on. <laughs> Man, look at this. And like I said, check this out. This is where this sucker was hit at right here. And the ground wire is right there. But the, if we go back, look at this. This ground wire goes here to there. And that one goes to the fan. And they did put a brand new fan uh, module thinking that that was the issue too. So let's go ahead, tie this little bolt up right here to the ground and see if this works. All right, this is the moment. We're gonna go ahead, try this on. 
Let's turn on this vehicle. Turn on the AC. All right. Now, let's see if these fans turn on. So let's go to the front of the vehicle, see what we get. All right, AC's on and uh, ground cable's connected. And still, we have nothing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to the bottom connector, check that out, see what we get. Hopefully we can find something else from here. All right, so I have my test light right here. As you can see, we're gonna touch that cable again, verify that nothing popped, here it goes. All right, as you can see, it's still working. So we have power right here, but there is another connector down below. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use my little light right here and we're gonna do a load test and we're gonna verify that we have load down there, that we have good grounds and good powers. So let's go to the bottom. All right, check out this interesting load thing right here. So we have this hooked up to our ground, as you can see right there. And let's take the, test this out. All right, we have a light right there. Now, let me just put my camera right here. Let's see, we're gonna use this right here, our test light, and then we're gonna test out this again. And we're gonna use the same ground on here. As you can see, here it goes. And look at that. And why is that? Because this right here, this doesn't have a lot of load compared to this. So we have maybe a short connection, a loose connection causing this issue. As you can see, we're going to try it again. Look at that. It is not working. But if we go ahead and get our test light, it's probably because they used up the energy. Check this out. It's probably going to take a little while. To get back to normal come on baby let's do it let's see if we can move this wire around see if we can get it to oh there you go and we then we can just move the wire around and they'll still stay on you see, no problem. Let me keep this light right here, nice and bright. Let's see, it's showing. And let's try, let's try this out right here. And this is gonna shut it off. Look at this. We're gonna add this right here, ground it, and look, it shut it right off. And then now we don't have no more light. So there you go. Sometimes you can get tricked with this test light right here. Because it doesn't put enough load. Let's see if it can come back on. It'll take a little while. But sometimes we can put this test light right here and it won't it won't get enough load. And that can be the problem. So let me see if I can just investigate this a little bit more and see where we can find out. Alright, now we're gonna use our light right here. So there's a ground bar right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one there. And we're gonna go ahead and touch this messed up little piece right here I don't know if you can catch that but that light is turned on look at that nice and bright so our issue is probably gonna be from that connector down All right, so it's dark outside right now, and uh, we've been fumbling with this for a while. I uh, had to remove this right here to get more access, and let's check this out. I tried and I tried to pull, but this was just too much resistance and too much heat. Let's see if we can zoom into that right there. Check out this connector. That is burnt this one as well all burnt up that wasn't going to be coming out i had to pry this off as you can see this was done so right now i did call the customer i did explain to him exactly what's going on and uh he's gonna see what we can do because this part right here we can probably get 
it's uh it's another little piece right here of wiring harness but this on this other hand probably not and because this is uh 2019 might have to buy a whole uh wiring harness if not for the meanwhile what i'll probably want to do is get a puck a buck connector and connect these two for the meanwhile and i just want to see if this fan turns on because <laughs> Right now, I just want to verify that this is going to actually fix this up, and it was just this connector. So, how about we just put a little butt connector right here, get this started, and see what we get. All right, I'm tired, and this is the moment we've been waiting for. Here it goes. We're going to turn this on. Let's turn on this AC. Let's go to the front, see what we get. Check that out. Woo! <laughs> fan is on there you go so now we just got to figure out how we're going to do that connector let me turn off this vehicle all right so there you go now we just got to figure out how we're going to put a connector on there it's a 2019 that's the issue right there it's a newer vehicle so it's a salvage title we're going to try to figure something out like i said right there i just kind of uh, held those two together with a butt connector. I didn't crimp it on there because I don't know what we're going to do after this. But there you go. That is the video. And uh, I just want to bring this up. Uh, my birthday's coming up tomorrow, man. So down in the comments down below, wish me happy birthday. And uh, if y'all don't know, I do have a Teespring uh, account out there. And I don't sell a lot of stuff there. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, I checked it out uh, about a week, two weeks ago. And so I'm, someone bought a a coffee mug and a onesie and like I said I'm not making a lot of money off of that but it just really 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 made me happy and the reason it made me happy is because I just know someone out there supporting all those mechanics and they have you know my gear out there so if you want to support the channel just below the on the video there's gonna be like a little section right there and there's gonna be Oz mechanics uh, merchandise so there you go. If you do like this video, don't forget to put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get out. Brand new videos coming out from Oz Mechanics. Y'all take care. Goodbye. Truman brought this vehicle because it had a savage title and he noticed that they, uh, and he wanted to make sure that we could One thing is that this vehicle is a salvage title, and before he he brought it over here before he wanted to change out the module me. So the issue with the Chevy Equinox, customer brought it over here because he really thinks that the module that's.